One day I'll tell you everything. There's no time now. I began five years ago in secret, working all night, every night, right into the dawn. A thousand experiments, a thousand failed. The fools wouldn't let me work in peace. I had to teach them a lesson. But why? Why do it? Just a scientific experiment at first. That's all. To do something no other man in the world has done. There's more to it than that, Kemp. I know now. It came to me suddenly. The drugs I took seemed to light up my brain. Suddenly I realized the power I held. The power to rule. To make the world grovel at my feet. <laughs> we'll soon put the world right now, Kemp.
motherfucker, man. This is bad, man. Oh, oh shit. shit. Man, fuck that. I'm selling these motherfuckers for $59.95. I'm able to be by myself and be happy. A lot of people can't even sit with themselves and be happy because they on some devious shit. But I, I could be by myself for three weeks and be cool or be around a gang of homies or whatever. It's like, I'm cool at peace, you know what I mean? Either way. I'm not cut off because I'm not into what everybody's doing anyway. I'm just trying to do something my own. Slugworth Chocolates Incorporated. Now listen carefully because I'm going to make you very rich indeed. Mr. Walker is at this moment working on a fantastic invention. Everlasting Gobstopper. 
if he succeeds, he'll ruin me. So all I want you to do is to get hold of just one everlasting dog tower and bring it to me so that I can find the secret formula. Take it over to you. A new house for your family. And good food and comfort for the rest of their lives. And don't forget the name. Everlasting, everlasting dog tower. something different like if you do if you have your own shit you might come with your own self i want my shit to sound like it's recorded on the moon or something
also um, what makes you creative when you're in an environment that you don't like? Shit, I've always been in environments I don't like. Like, I never fit in, you know what I'm saying? Like, everybody's on some other shit. I'm on some, you know, meditating, spirituality, doing music 24-7, and a lot of these cats is killing each other. So, God, yeah, do for self.
town. Enjoy life. I mean, it's uh, life is too short to, to, to get bogged down and be discouraged. Or uh, you have to keep moving. You have to keep going. Put one foot in front of the other. Smile and just keep on rolling. You know and. Uh,
It's your old pal, Mr. Robinson. So much has changed since we last spent some time together. My neighborhood has gone through so much. It's gone through something called gentrification. <laughs> Can you say gentrification, boys and girls? It's like a magic trick. White people pay a lot of money, and then poof, all the black people are gone. <laughs> but where do they go, boys and girls?
believe in God? Child, child, yeah, I got Jesus card in my pocket. And you just got to be in touch with God. You got to pray. You ain't got to go to church. You just keep in touch with God. You'd probably be better off than them people sitting in the front row, faking it for one day. What is your way um, to stay in touch with God? Just pray, have an open mind, pray basically, and know that there's something out there is, it got us here. You got to acknowledge it or else you're in trouble.